A debate is raging near the town of Brinkley, Arkansas, in the remaining bottomland hardwood forests and bayous that once made up the region, and it centers on this video, shot in Bayou de Vue in 2004 by University of Arkansas professor David Luneau, and its depiction of what some in the birding community think is an ivory-billed woodpecker. Robert, my brother-in-law, who was sitting right where you are, uh, saw it. I mean, he, was, he had just kind of turned around in his seat and was looking right at it when it flew. He saw red on the head when it flew. I, I had reached over and was picking a paddle up and looked back and saw it flying off. The problem is that bird hasn't had a verified sighting in more than 60 years. Once North America's largest woodpecker, the ivory bill was a notoriously specialized species that thrived in old growth forests of the southeast U.S. It basically went the way of the of the bottomland forest. It needed the habitat and the habitat was largely destroyed and it too was, was largely destroyed. By the 1900s, it was already extremely rare. And by 1944, the last known ivory-billed woodpecker, a female in Louisiana, was gone. Since then, rumors and unsubstantiated sightings have kept the memory of the woodpecker, nicknamed the Lord Godbird by Teddy Roosevelt, alive. Then in February 2004, kayaker Gene Sparling spotted what he thought was an ivory bill while canoeing along the Cache River in eastern Arkansas. He saw the bird fly up the bayou at him, land on a tree, and then fly off. So he got a good look at it. He's not really a birder, but he knew he saw something special. So special, he posted news of that sighting on his canoe club website. And that eventually got back to uh, Cornell University where Tim Gallagher and called his buddy Bobby Harrison from uh, Alabama, and they came over. And their second day out, they both saw the bird in the same general vicinity where Gene had seen it before. Their sighting set off a year-long search by the Cornell Lab of Ornithology. It culminated with this article in Science Magazine, claiming the presence of at least one male in Arkansas's big woods. They used Leno's video, confirmed sightings, and sound recordings to make their case. People. On something like this, they pretty much dismiss the visual sightings that people had. Even though two very reliable sighters, Bobby Harrison and Tim Gallagher, saw the same bird at the same time, the sound recordings are just not adequate to stand alone. That left Leno's video, studied frame by frame by Cornell ornithologist John Fitzpatrick. And there is uh, quite a bit of disagreement about what's depicted in that video. People are saying that uh, the, the bird is turning its wing in a different way so that what the uh, Cornell staff is identifying as white on one part of the wing is in fact a pileated woodpecker, similar sized bird, uh, showing the white on its underside of the wing. One of these people is Martin Collinson. I wasn't particularly overwhelmed by the, by the quality of the evidence, but like many people, I, I just thought, well, it's, it's it's, it's Cornell, it's published in science, they, 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 they know better than me, so, so I'll believe it, it's, it's probably right. The self-proclaimed hobbyist is part of the British Ornithology Union, and like any avid birder, Collinson quickly took to comparing the bird in the Luneau video to footage of pileated woodpeckers. He hoped to convince himself that the ivory bills had, in fact, been rediscovered. Instead, he came to doubt Cornell's findings. Essentially, what, what I was seeing was that the similarities were, were sufficient enough to, to say that it, the, the, the bird in the Arkansas video, David Luna's video, could well have been a pileated woodpecker. And, and if, if it could be, the balance of probability really was that it probably was one. Collinson, in a letter to the journal BMC Biology, wrote that the plumage pattern and wingbeat frequency of the bird captured in Luno's video was compatible to that of a pileated woodpecker. He acknowledges that there's a chance, albeit small, that the ivory bill remains, and says that if a clear picture, video, or even sighting were made, then the questions could be laid to rest. The fact is that all the, all the sightings, or, or supposed sightings, of, of these birds are, are, are millisecond brief, and that the possibility, there is a possibility of misidentification. The longer that goes on, the, the, the less inclined I am to believe that the birds really are out there. Luneau still believes the ivory bill is out here and works with Cornell to install remote sensing cameras throughout the bayou. He also continues his search by boat and the camera's always rolling. Well, I guess one of my, my fantasies of being out here would be to actually find the bird and have it sit there and let me get a, a, a good long look for as long as I wanted 
at the bird before it flew off. That would be, uh, that, that would make all this work worthwhile. For Discovery News, I'm Jorge Rivas. In the Delta sun, down in Arkansas, it's the great God bird.